This video looks at the determinants of health. The syllabus asks you to learn about individual factors, socio-cultural factors, socio-economic factors, and environmental factors. The Learn To asks you to analyse how an individual's health can be determined by a range of factors acting in various combinations. Individual factors include the person's attitudes, knowledge, skills, genetics, and personal characteristics. A person who knows that health includes five interacting dimensions and understands what a good diet is and the recommended levels of physical activity is more likely to have good health. In addition to this, if they have a positive attitude towards health, want to achieve it and see the lifelong benefits, then they are more likely to attain health. This is because healthy choices take self-discipline, determination and resilience to make them consistently. If a person also has skills relating to health, such as research skills, or skills related to critiquing information, they are more likely to be able to make healthy choices. Finally, genetics is a key individual factor that determines health. A history of poor health in the family, or good health can make a person more susceptible to disease or illness. Social cultural factors are family, peers, media, religion and culture. Much of the social cultural factors are rooted in your family heritage. Your parents and siblings will have a huge impact on your choice of religion, your culture and sometimes what media you consume. So if your family value health, are knowledgeable and skilled in health, you are more likely to be as well. Your peers create an environment around you that will also influence your health choices. This is not so much them telling you directly what to do, but simply by you following the crowd and wanting to fit in. Marketing campaigns and other information shared across the media will also influence your health and help shape both your perception of health and your actions relating to it. Finally, a sense of connectedness or belonging can greatly influence your health. People who belong to religious groups or a culture with strong social ties help to increase health outcomes due to increased self-worth and social health. Socioeconomic factors include employment, education and income. Each of these relate to the other, but basically if you have higher levels of education, you have greater personal knowledge and skills to use in relation to health choices. If you have a job in sport and recreation, you are more likely to have good health compared to those who work in high risk jobs such as truck driving or mining. Higher levels of income will also affect your access to health related products and services and can influence other activities as well. For example, a poor teenager may not be able to afford to go to the movies with their friends, leaving them socially isolated and feeling alone. Geographical location, access to health services and technology are environmental factors that affect your health. If you live in a place that has little access to fresh food, people your own age or health services, such as in rural Australia, then you are more likely to have poorer health. However, if you have access to health services and technology, you can be treated more easily when sick and can recover faster from accidents. Even just having access to the internet allows you to find health information that is up to date and accurate, provided you know how to critique information. Each of the determinants has various factors that overlap and affect other determinants. For example, a person who has a high level of education and a high paying job can afford to live in a nicer house in a nicer area with access to cafes and the beach. This person will also have a larger knowledge base around health and a good skill set to make healthy choices. But of course, they could have terrible genetics inherited from parents who died young from heart attacks after eating lots of takeaway at home with their children. They could also align more with Western Anglo-Saxon culture with a low value of family connection and community. Thank you.